Welcome back everybody, we've just had a wild rumor about a character from the expanded universe popping up in episode 9, so let's get right to it, we'll go over the article together, link down below in the description, and then I'll share some of my thoughts at the end, let's have a look. J.J. Abrams along with casting director Nina Gold, who has worked on both episode 7 and episode 8, are searching for a female lead. 40 to 50 years old to play the role of Mara. It's common practice for films to use code names during the casting process, and that could be the case here. To be clear, we're only able to confirm that they are looking to fill the role of a female lead who they are calling Mara. To fans of the EU, however, the possibility that Abrams is bringing Mara J to the big screen in episode 9 is absolutely mind-blowing. Created by Timothy Zahn in the once but not now canon novel Heir to the Empire published in 1991, Mara Jade is a character that carries a special importance to a generation of fans who only had the EU novels to quench their Star Wars thirst. Originally the hand of Emperor Palpatine, Jade, a powerful force user in her own right, was sent to kill Luke Skywalker. Skywalker was able to not only escape death, but to break Palpatine's posthumous power over Jade. The two went on to marry, have children, and train a new generation of Jedi. With Disney's acquisition of Star Wars in 2014, the once canon EU materials lost their position in favor of new novels, comics, and spin-off films, but some characters have found their way into the canon once again, such as Thrawn and the Cloud Riders featured in the upcoming Solo film. Others, such as Ben Solo slash Kylo Ren, seem to have been adapted to the screen by combining the attributes of other EU characters. While we cannot confirm in any way what to expect from Mara in Episode 9, it's easy to speculate that the film version would share at least some similarity with the character from the EU novels. At that point, it's hard not to at least wonder what relationship, if any, she may have had with Luke Skywalker and or Rey. Many fans were unsatisfied with the explanation of Rey's parentage given in Episode 8, and recent rumblings have suggested that Ren's vision, or his revelation of it to Rey, of Rey's parents may not have been fully accurate, and we may get some real answers in Episode 9. Could the addition of Mara to official Star Wars canon just be a coincidence? Could she be Rey's mother? At this point we don't have answers and it's just as likely that she's a powerful member of the First Order with no connection to Rey, but that's why I wanted to clearly separate the facts from the speculation. Okay people, the speculation begins. I've done videos in the past speculating about Luke possibly being married and having offspring, one of them even exploring the possibility that his wife and maybe even child fell in the sacking of his Jedi Academy and that this was the reason he was so jaded and determined to let the Jedi Order die in The Last Jedi. Of course, this was all before the movie actually released and wow! Was I off? The reason given for Luke's manic depression was he briefly thought about stopping a new Vader, which many people, including myself, found to be kind of out of character for him, but moving on. If this Mara casting rumor has any merit, that would be an interesting addition to the story. So, first of all, how closely do they follow the expanded universe story? Is Mara Jade Luke's wife? If she is, where was she during the events that transpired at Luke's Academy? Did she try to find him after he went into self-imposed exile on Arcto? What gives, right? Now, I have the sneaking suspicion that if they do introduce Mara Jade, that they'll try and do their own thing with her character. It's the main reason Disney scrapped the EU, so that they wouldn't be shackled down by stories that have already been told. But here's a theory for you. Originally, Mara Jade was Palpatine's assassin. Ryan Johnson, in all of his wisdom, killed off one of the most speculated about villains in cinema history, but we do know that Snoke had trained at least one other apprentice before Kylo Ren. So, there's been speculation about that. Who was this student Snoke had? Are they still out there somewhere? 
will they appear in episode 9 to take revenge on Kylo Ren for killing their master? Well, what if in this new canon, Mara Jade is the Hand of Snoke? I mean, it wouldn't be that far-fetched. Snoke's elite Praetorian guards bear many similarities to Palpatine's guards, so maybe he has his own assassin as well. I'd be down for that, but let's not get our hopes up too much. It is just a code name, and in Star Wars, they sure do like recycling names. For instance, Rey's original name was Kira, now Amelia Clarke's character in Solo is named Kira, although it's spelt differently. We had Quinlan Voss in the prequels, and now there's Dryden Voss in the upcoming Solo. Supposedly, there's no relation between the two. So for all we know, this Mara character could be a totally new character. And for instance, she could be Admiral Holdo's green-haired sister, bent out on revenge. So there you have it peoples, hope you enjoyed the video, leave your thoughts down below. What do you make of this code name Mara and what would you like to see happen? I know there are a lot of Mara Jade fans out there. If you are new here and enjoyed the content, hit that notification bell to stay updated with this channel. Fans of Westworld can expect a top 5 video from me after the season 2 premiere this Sunday. And don't forget to like, share, sub and all of that good stuff. And until next time, see yous.